All right, Ian, the Knicks take game three to take a two to one series lead over the Cavaliers. And this one was a slow one from the start, but RJ Barrett was not slow. 19 points for him in this game, 10 coming in the first quarter, which were most needed, especially when Julius Randle and Jalen Brunson got off to slow starts. What did you see from RJ? It seemed like this was the RJ that the Knicks want to see in this game. Yeah, quick decisions, which I think you saw that across the board for the Knicks in game yeah. three, but particularly with Barrett, particularly early on, he was very decisive with the ball in his hands and he was making passes out to the perimeter. I think that's something else that you saw from the Knicks. I think that was a conscious effort from everybody, yeah. but particularly Barrett, and you mentioned it, if there's no RJ Barrett performance like that early on in this game, the Knicks lose the game because there were, I think the starters were two for 17 mm. at one point yep. outside of Barrett. So Barrett was carrying them. And for him to bounce back uh, after struggling for two games on offense, yep. playing pretty good on defense, it says a lot about a 22 year old who, as steady as they come, yep. can come back and play like this. Absolutely. One other thing that was carrying them is their defense, and they held the Cavaliers to under 80 points. The Cavs are the first team this season to be held under 80 points. Ian, where the Cavs' offensive struggles, do you attribute that to the Knicks' defense? You have to, okay. to some degree. Like, I think the Cavaliers, particularly Darius Garland, just missed shots that he normally makes. But when you look at what the Knicks have been able to do on the inside, really making life difficult for Cavs coming into the paint, but also Jared Allen and Evan Mobley, you got to credit Mitchell Robinson and Isaiah Hartenstein. They're struggling in the paint, the Cavs. They're struggling around the rim, and that's a real big credit to Robinson. You know, the offense, you're not going to get a ton from him at yeah. this point, but what he does at the rim is invaluable. Yeah, huge for them. All right, Ian, looking ahead to game four on Sunday, what do you need to see from the Knicks in order for them to get that victory and what could be a series deciding win if they go up 3 1 over the Cavaliers? Yeah, I think you're looking at you want them to win the turnover battle, you want them to at least be even on the boards and what they've done with their turnovers in this series when they're going right is they've gotten points in transition. Right. I think they had something like 26 tonight and they dominated the Cavs in that area. So I think if you see those three areas for the Knicks, things should go right. And also if they're taking threes, they took their threes at a higher clip game three than they had in the first two and that opens things up. Yeah, forced 21 turnovers for the Cavaliers in this one to take game three and go on to game four, looking for a three to one lead in this series. Thank you, Ian.